On December 9, 2024, at 3 in the afternoon, Mount Canlan on Negros Island erupted, expelling a thick cloud of ash about 4 kilometers into the sky. Do you know how high that is? That's like 30 football fields lined up from end to end. The explosion lasted about 3 minutes and 55 seconds. Local residents that were within a 6-kilometer radius were evacuated immediately. Actually, officials anticipated that the number of evacuees could rise to over 2,000 if the blasts continued. The outburst caused a pyroclastic density current, which, in simpler words, is a superheated flow of ash, debris, and rocks. Obviously, this poses big hazards to the people in the surrounding areas. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, more commonly known as FIVOLX, raised the alert level to three, meaning there is a clear possibility of more eruptions down the line. As Mount Kanlaon unleashed its wrath in 2024, it brought back memories of another devastating event not too long ago. Hopefully, you still remember it. Just four years earlier, in January 2020, the Tal volcano in Batangas erupted. Tal may be small compared to Mount Kanlaon, but it's one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Why? It's because of its unique location inside a lake that adds a twist, intensifying its power. So, what happened was that a massive volume of volcanic ash shot 15 kilometers up high. If you still remember the news, you might recall that the explosion was visible from as far away as Metro Manila, which is already nearly 65 kilometers away. Sounds crazy, right? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! And now, it's time to pop the important question. Why are volcanoes in the Philippines so incredibly dangerous? If you always wonder about the forces shaping our planet, look no further than Grand Line Media, your number one hub for geography and other interesting topics. Anyway, the science behind it is that the Philippines is a country born of fire. It is sitting right at the heart of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a giant belt of volcanoes and earthquakes that circles the Pacific Ocean. Imagine this. The Earth is a giant puzzle, and there are pieces called tectonic plates floating on molten rock below us. In the Philippines, these plates are colliding, grinding, and even diving beneath one another. This friction creates insane pressure, and when that pressure finds a release, volcanoes are formed as a result like Kanlaon and Tal. Specifically, Mount Kanlaon owes its combustive nature to the meeting of the Eurasian Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate, a collision that's been happening for millions of years. Tal, on the other hand, is a geological masterpiece that's sitting inside a lake, and it's built on layers of eruptions and collapses. Both iconic volcanoes are part of a system that's outstandingly dangerous, but admit it or not, they're fascinating as well. By now it's clear that these are not mere landforms. They're essential to the geography and culture of the Philippines. Volcanoes create fertile soils that sustain the livelihood of hard-working farmers, although they also carry constant threats that can change lives in an instant. Take pyroclastic flows, for example. These are nature's most destructive avalanches, and they have the capability to race down slopes at over 100 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a car speeding on a highway. During Mount Pinatubo's 1991 eruption, some flows reached 400 miles per hour, wiping down everything in their path. Forests are gone, homes were turned to ashes, and entire communities were destroyed, all in the blink of an eye. There's also the threat of deadly gases. They're technically invisible, like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, 
but these chemicals can suffocate people before anyone even realizes what's happening. During Tal's 2020 eruption, citizens who were exposed to sulfur dioxide experienced health issues such as fatigue, headaches, and respiratory problems, especially the elderly and children. As dangerous as the volcanic gases are, what's equally worrying is the unpredictability of the timing. Kanlaun and Taal can shift from calm to catastrophic with little to no warning. As scary as that sounds, the 2024 eruption of Mount Kanlaon was sudden, forcing the evacuation of thousands of people from nearby villages. If you live in a place like that, it would feel as if you're constantly gambling with your life, always on the brink of survival and disaster. As we've discussed earlier, this constant threat is directly linked to the Philippines' geography. This South Asian country is located in the Ring of Fire that stretches from the western coast of the Americas, across the Pacific Ocean, and along the eastern coast of Asia, with the Philippines positioned right in the midst of it. How unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Nonetheless, there's a positive side to it. This geographical positioning contributes to the country's rich biodiversity and natural resources, impacting millions of lives on a daily basis. While Tal and Kanlaon are often in the headlines, there are other known volcanoes in the Philippines that deserve attention too. Mount Hibok Hibok, located on the island of Camigin, is an active stratovolcano known for its rich and explosive history. The volcano's most significant eruption happened in 1951, requiring further studies and monitoring of the area to prevent future disasters. Mount Hibok Hibok has been quiet for a long time recently, although its geothermal activity is still a constant reminder of its nature. The locals are always living in the shadow of its fury. On the other hand, Mount Bulusan, located in Sorsogon, is another lesser known yet active volcano. It's part of the Bicol Volcanic Arc and has experienced frequent eruptions over the past few decades, with the most recent one occurring in June 2022. And now, how could we ever forget Mount Mayan? a tourist spot that's famous for its near-perfect cone shape. Its frequent volcanic activities, like the ones in 2018 and 2020, often result in pyroclastic flows, lava fountains, and ash clouds. Its position in the Bicol region means it's surrounded by a densely populated area, and any eruption is hazardous to local communities. Despite being a tourist attraction, Mayon remains one of closely monitored volcanoes in the Philippines. As we move into 2025, Mount Kanlao continues to remind us of the unpredictability of the Philippines' volcanic landscape. Just like Mount Mayon, Kanlao is just as unstable. Just weeks ago, it exhibited significant movement. Between December 31, 2024 and January 6, 2025, Fivox recorded 23 to 45 daily volcanic earthquakes. I know. It's really terrifying if you think about it. By the way, that includes periods of tremor lasting up to 4 hours and 42 minutes. Sulfur dioxide emissions ranged from 3,400 to 5,800 tons per day during this period. Authorities have started to implement precautionary measures, including the evacuation of residents from the 4-kilometer permanent danger zone around the volcano. The local government, in coordination with Five All Guests, continues to monitor the situation closely, giving updates and guidance to ensure the safety of the affected localities. Residents are advised to stay informed through official channels and adhere to evacuation orders issued by local authorities and FIVOX. In fact, the Department of Social Welfare and Development in 2024 allocated around 4 million pesos in relief aid for volcanic eruptions in Negros Island. As we all know, it's always wise to be ready. Preparedness can help minimize the impact of a disaster, giving families a sense of security and a better chance at survival. I must survive. At the end of the day, beyond the natural risks and challenges, volcanoes hold a special place in Philippine culture. These majestic and striking landforms are intimately woven into the country's myths and traditions. Mount Kanlaon is deeply rooted in folklore, and it's often associated with the ancient tales of Leon, 
a legendary goddess that the Visayan people believe to have tamed a giant dragon. 